is not driven by anybody. It has a very nice camera and it looks at the piece of land. And it takes this information and it labels whether it is fertile ground or not. And based on what it is able to see, it can even recommend what plants you can plant where. <laughs> very, very important. So that is another work that we have just completed. Now, what are the sort of skills that our engineers need? I think our engineers, if they do not understand society, they are not going to be good engineers. When I was in the United States and I was doing mechanical engineering as an undergrad, I was up there and they say, you have to take 12 semester of human and social sciences. So I took 12 courses. And one of the three courses that I took was, uh, no, th three of the 12 courses that I took was uh, acting. So in my curricula, I have an acting uh, qualification. So for those of you who are wondering why I am not in mobile, it's not because I can't act. <laughs> it's because of a choice that I have made. I took uh, seven economics classes. I took a history class. I took a psychology class. So our educational experience must become multidisciplinary. If our educational system is not multidisciplinary, our graduates are going to suffer in the fourth industrial revolution. Now this is another work that we did. I used to have a student called Machawa Machawa. God save his soul, he died last year. Machawa Machawa was a very clever young man. So what Machawa Machawa was uh, deciding to, to do, what, what, what he did was we were building a system that you speak to it in Sibeti, then it translates into English. And he actually built a system like that. You know, it turns out that actually Machawa, Machawa Machawa's father was from PPD. I later found out that I used to go to the shop at Machawa uh, PPD. So now we tried the same technology with Corsa. I know people here don't know how to click. And many of you will say Torsa. Corsa. <laughs> and when we did it with Corsa, we realized that every time you click,